Raycast, my launcher of choice on the Mac, released a new notes feature, so we're going to check it out. Um, as you know, or may know, I'm a big fan of note taking or note making, and I'm using uh, various apps like Obsidian and Drafts for most of my notes. And uh, since I use Raycast to launch and do all kinds of things on my Mac, I thought I'd explore the notes feature that they have. So this is their blog post talking about it. And then here's their web page where they have, it's their manual for notes. So I don't think I really need either of, of these. I just wanted to bring them up uh, to show you that they've announced it and let's check it out. So I'll trigger Raycast and let's type notes. Here we go. Raycast notes. So this is my first time uh, exploring notes. I, they had a previous version called floating notes, which I, I don't know, maybe I played with, played with once or twice, but nothing regular. So we'll click on Raycast notes. Okay. It's got some kind of a discussion about the notes here. Okay. So let's see. There we go. Create note. Okay, hello, I am a note. Okay, and then let's uh, let's see what we can do here. So we should be able to use Markdown. So I'm gonna do Command B, that makes it bold. Let's do a header. I am a header, and I should be able to do a hash for that. Let's do a, a, a heading two. I am a heading two, and then I am a heading three. Okay, that's good, nice and easy. And let's see, if I do Command K, or if I click on this little action panel, Command K, you can, you can do some customizations. So, <clears throat> okay, from here, I could do a new note, browse my notes. Okay, so when I'm in the notes, <clears throat> when I'm in a note, I can, do command K to create a new note and do other things. It's not just customizing that one particular note. I can actually browse my all my notes and things like that, export it. So that's good. I should be able to pin, create a quick link. I think that's what it is. Pin it. So create a quick link. Let's try that. Um, name um, my YouTube test note. I only have myself, my personal is my organization. So that's good. It has a deep link to the note itself, open with Raycast. Let's see what we could do. So I guess I could open that with some other, like Nova or something, some other kind of app. That's interesting. And an icon, that's that's fine. So save a quick link. Um, okay, I'm not quite sure how I would access that. Oh, it just puts it here up in my suggestions. So if I summon Raycast, my test note is right at the top. Uh, I don't know what that is. And there's my note. Okay, so that's good. So one of the things that um, I want to do is I want to create a shortcut key to open notes. So let's explore that now. So I'm going to just put this over to the side. I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the, the Raycast settings and I'm going to type notes. Let's see, craft obsidian Raycast, Raycast. Here we go. So Raycast notes. If I do, so create note, I'm going to record a hotkey. I think I'll do option N. Okay, and let's, uh, I could do search and pull up Raycast notes as well, but I think I'm just going to create one for that. So let's close all this stuff. So if I do option N, ready to write. Okay, I actually like that. That's pretty nice. Um, what else can we do? Oh, so they have a format buttons here. So that put, oh, that, that saves us from having to type markdown ourselves, I guess. So this is bold 
And then if I do click on that, okay, we're bold. That's good. Let's try, let's see. This is one of the things I always try when I, um, when I check out a note app and I want to, and it supports markdown or s technically supports markdown, uh, is I'd like to know, well, how, how extensive is the support? And one of the things that really bothers me is when you're going to make a bulleted list and it doesn't know how to, it doesn't carry on with the bullets when you, when you, start a bulleted list so let's see how well this does so i'm going to do a dash uh list item one and if i hit return now let's see if it does a a bullet it does excellent i mean that's a little thing but you know things like devon think pro um doesn't do that um daylight doesn't do that so you know and they those are apps that i think support say they support uh markdown and may, maybe they've Maybe they do now, uh, that kind of functionality, but when they don't, it's a pain, I think. So, and then let's just try one more thing. This is a quote. Let's see if there's any kind of special appearance it does. So code block, block quote. Okay. Okay. So it does a little, um, little bar right there to kind of show that it's a quote. So I, I like that. I think, I think this is pretty good as far as, um, Markdown is concerned, so I'm quite happy with that. So the last thing I want to do is let's let's close. Well, let's see. I wondered if I could give this a name. Browse notes format. Okay, so it looks like um, the notes do not have a title, and that's actually something I like. I don't like having. Or at least I like when titles are optional. That's one reason why I like drafts, is that there's no requirement for a title. And um, this looks like it's just the they just say ready to write. So that's great. I really like that. So let's see if we can find it though. So um, this note. So that would be my last thing I want to do. So let's close that. I'm going to do search notes. Ah, okay. So. It puts my notes in a list so I can just literally scroll through them. So that's good. But let's say I want to find the word bold. And there it is. That's great. I really like that. Let's try quote. Yep. There it is. Pulls it up. Okay. All right. I am really liking uh, the new Ray, uh, Raycast notes feature. Uh, how about you? Let me know in the comments.